Hello guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we are going to go over how you guys go about using your field and your masking region. Um, you guys can use this in any view. It can be a plan view. You guys can use them in any detail views that you guys may have throughout your project. Um, section views, elevation views, it really doesn't matter. Um, with these components, you guys can use them um, in any view. So it just depends on the application, what you guys need it for. But it is kind of one of those elements where um, the sky is the limit in the sense that um, you can you guys can add it to any view that you guys have. So to get started, you guys want to be in your annotate tab here at the top. Once you guys are in your annotate tab, you guys will come to your detail section. You guys will come to region. And if you guys click on the flyout, you guys are able to see the two options you guys have available. You guys can do the field region, which will allow you guys to add a pattern um, to your within the boundary that you guys create. Or you guys can do a masking region, which will allow you guys to... Um, block out any view within the boundary that you guys create. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started first with the field region. I'm gonna click once. Once I click once, it will change my menu at the top here. It will also give me the red X and green check mark, which means that we have to click one of those to completely come out of this tool. And before I get started, I want to come over to my properties bar here and I want to select which re field region graphic I want to use. So um, if I click on that flyout, it will give me the available options that I have um, depending on the Revit that you guys are using, um, the project settings um, within your template these options may change. So um, it will just depend on, um, on your project. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and select the diagonal up and if you guys want to see um, what that pattern actually looks like, um, if you guys select the edit type, sometimes it will give you guys a preview, but if your Revit does not give you a preview over here, this is how you guys will see what that actually looks like. So once you guys select edit type, you come into your type properties box. And I want to um, go under foreground field pattern. I want to click in this box and click on the, the three dots that appear. This will bring up your field patterns, and if you look at the one that's highlighted black, it will show you which one you guys are selecting. Um, you guys are also able to change that here, so if this is not um, the option um, that you want to do, or let's just say you guys wanna scale it um, more um, down or up, you guys are able to select a different pattern if you want to um, from here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, and okay again. And um, once I'm happy with my selection, I want to come up to my top menu here and um, I want to select how I actually want to draw the boundaries to that field region. So um, again, this is one of those things that's preference, um, project dependent. Um, so it will just, you know, depend on your project. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select the line tool for me. And I'm going to come to my model space and I just want to draw where I want that field region to be. So for purpose of example, let's just say that I wanted to create a field region that signified that this um, island here was millwork on, let's just say, a construction um, sheet, right? Um, I would just want to go ahead and just start to create the boundaries of that. So I'm just going to do it... Um, where I'm selecting the endpoints of this millwork here. And then for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and select the rectangle option, and I'm just gonna make sure that I carve out where that sink is as well. And again, um, you guys can let Revit kind of help you guys by using the snaps. So I'm just gonna go here for purpose of, purpose of example. 
right? Once I'm happy with that filled region, and again, your filled region does have to be a closed loop, a closed shape, so it cannot, again, be random lines. So once I'm happy with my closed shape, um, I'm going to go ahead and come up here to the top and hit the green check mark. That will bring me out of that tool, and I'm going to go ahead and hit escape on my keyboard to come out of that selection. And you guys are able to see that it's placed that field region um, on my island. Now, if you guys wanted this to be um, transparent, you guys can also have the option to do that. So you guys see that I have a counter line, and if I wanted that to show, I can just select my field region so I just clicked one time I'm gonna come over to my edit type click once and I just want to unselect masking and go ahead and hit OK Once I hit masking, I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to come out of that selection. And that will, again, allow you guys to see anything or any line detail that's under that um, field region. And so that is how you guys go ahead and cr go about creating a field region. Again, this can work in any view that you guys are working on. Um, now let's go ahead and go to a masking um, region. So I'm going to go back up to my um, region tool I'm gonna click on the flyout I'm gonna go to masking click once once I'm in that tool I'm gonna come over to my draw area um, select how I want to draw those boundaries and just for purpose of example I'm going to select my rectangle tool and let's just say I wanted to for some reason block out a portion of um, this island. I'm just going to draw a rectangle over that portion or the boundary lines. I'm going to hit escape to come out of that. If I am happy with that shape, I'm going to hit my green check mark at the top. Revit will come out of that. I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard and that will allow me to create that masking shape. Now, if I wanted those lines to boundary lines to be invisible, I could simply select that, hit boundaries, edit boundary at the top, select my shape, bring up line style, select that line style, go to invisible lines, hit escape once I've done that, hit that green check mark. Hit escape on my keyboard and that will allow me to create that masking without having those boundaries. Thank you guys for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial.